Welcome to the Tech Pride channel. My name is Matt. I'm going to be doing a quick and easy introductory video on how to hook up a mouse and keyboard to your tablet, as well as using the Splashtop 2 app to connect your tablet to your desktop computer or laptop computer at home. And finally, how to play Diablo 3, StarCraft 2, Battlefield 3, and some other modern graphics intensive games right on your tablet remotely. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is connect a mouse and keyboard. So this is a Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, it was about 34 bucks. came with this very nice case. Um, it's actually detachable as well. You can slide this off. You can use it remotely. It works up to about 10 meters. So you want to get a keyboard and a mouse. You can use a Bluetooth mouse. I don't have a Bluetooth mouse, so I'm going to show how to connect a USB um, mouse to a Motorola Zoom. I should probably mention that this is a Motorola Zoom and that it's running ice cream sandwich and I'm pretty sure you can only do uh, you can only have mice on an ice cream sandwich tablet. Um, there's plenty of videos out there on how to root your Zoom and how to load the ice cream sandwich operating system onto your tablet so I advise you to check that out it's wonderful. So the first thing you need for a wireless or for a wired mouse is a is a OTG micro USB to large or standard USB host cable. You can buy these on Amazon for a couple bucks and essentially it allows your tablet to communicate with an external device and give it power. So what you're going to do is you're going to pop this right into your micro USB slot. All right. And then you're going to snag your mouse. I took mine right out of the computer. And you're just going to pop it right in here real quick. Okay, so you get a little flash. You see that my mouse has got some power here. You can see that on the LED. And I have a cursor on the screen. So I can bring that in real quick for you. Okay, so there it is. All right, so as you can see, I've got my mouse working right here. I can check out my Gmail, click on Pulse here real quick. All right, so as you can see, it works well. Um, every click is the equivalent of a touch, so you get all the functionality. Um, you're not going to get any right click on the home screen or anything like that, but otherwise you're good. Okay, so that's it for getting the mouse and keyboard connected. Okay, so the next thing is the app that you're going to need. And the app is called Splashtop 2. And you'll probably find it under just Splashtop in the marketplace, but they have come out with a second generation of software on their website. Okay, so we're going to go to the Play Store and just to show you what it looks like on there. Again, notice I'm using the mouse. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to search here. I've already got it. I searched for Splashtop 2 because I want to see if there was a new version. So what you're going to want is the Splashtop Remote Desktop HD. Okay, you definitely want the higher end version. I think it's a couple bucks more, so you're looking at like seven, eight dollars. Um, I would definitely recommend investing the money. Uh, this is an app that has saved me many times. Um, obviously, I'm talking about it in the context of games right now, but uh, the app is actually really useful because if this is running on your computer, um, then if you forgot a file, if you forgot to send an email, something like that, uh, you can. Oh, we're having a little difficulty here. Aren't we? Come on, buddy. There you go. Okay. Nice and easy. Okay. So, um, yeah, anyway, this app has saved me a lot of times. I forgot to load a file or send an email. Now, obviously, you can send emails from your tablet, but you don't have access to your computer's hard drive. So, this is the one you're going to want. 
sink the money into it. It's totally worth it. Um, all right, so we're going to open this up and see what it looks like. Okay, so this is what this, the splash screen of Splash Top looks like. And as you can see, it's searching the internet right now for my computer. Um, what you do is you set up an account with uh, the Splash Top people, and that allows you to search for your computer anywhere in the world on any network. Um, alternately, you can set up um, a special connection just for yourself um, over your wireless network um, or give it a specific IP address but this one goes through the web and it's awesome so we're gonna connect to my desktop okay so what you see now is all the controls that you'd be able to do without a mouse so essentially they weren't really thinking that people would connect mice up to their tablets so here you go you've got all the different commands um, this app is fully usable without a mouse which is great um, I've definitely used it that way so we're gonna continue here okay so as you can see we got a little uh, phone section there okay so we're gonna minimize all this stuff got a couple notes here Okay, so now you can see my desktop. Um, one nice thing about the update for this app is that um, even though my monitor is uh, 1440p, it's condensed it down to the operating resolution of the app, which is 720p. Uh, it's a nice feature. You're going to see a little crowding on your desktop icons if they're big like mine, um, but you can scroll through and check things out with no problem. Okay, so this is um, this is Splash Top. So just to get at what I was saying before, um, here's what's so great about this app. You can go to My Documents and find something that you needed to send out um, from your computer's hard drive, right? I have like five, um, something on there. And then, you know, Load up the internet, and you can send that remotely in an email. Alternately, um, you can also watch videos. Oh, that other thing came up on my other monitor. Interesting. Okay. So, all right. Let's so go in here, check something out. We've got, let's see, an action movie. Also, this is going to be sending audio. Um, I've disabled audio so that you don't get weird effects um, on the video. But let's watch Iron Man. Okay, so this is a 1080p video, and this is coming through. I'm going to full screen that. Okay, so here you go. You got a full screen. Uh, 1080p video, as you can see, there's a little bit of lag, but you are going to get sound coming through. Um, something that's nice is that <laughs> the sound does not come out of your computer, so people aren't going to be freaking out at home. Um, all right, yeah, so as you can see, it's very crisp, very good quality, um, and th those artifacts are in the original. Um, okay, yeah, so there you go. Pretty, pretty nice. Um, very nice picture quality there. Okay, so we're gonna exit out of this. One thing you may be noticing is a little bit of mouse lag um, from in the video, but as far as click lag, there is a little bit less. It's a little bit more accurate with the click. Oh, no, it is waiting. Okay, so as you can see, there's a little bit of lag with the mouse, um, but to be expected for an $8 way to access your computer remotely. Um, okay, so let's actually load up a game here. So as you can see, some of my favorites, as I talked about in the introduction, uh, StarCraft 2, Diablo 3, and Battlefield 3. So we're going to load up Diablo 3 real quick. Loading up. Okay, again, you're seeing a little bit of this this mouse lag here. Um, okay, so we're in game. 
and like I said, it's a little laggy. Uh, but let's see if we can find some combat. Oh, I'm right at the end, aren't I? All right, let's see if I can find something outside. Okay, so it's a little laggy. Um, you do get right click though, which is impressive. Um, you're going to get use of all the keyboard bindings are going to be exactly the same. Um, here you can see me using some spells. Um, I'm going to throw down a Hydra here. Yeah, again, you're going to see a little bit of lag, but this is... it's it's barely playable. Um, I wouldn't recommend going and doing anything you know, nuts with it, especially you know something that your ladder rankings are going to matter on, or that you're dueling in. You know, if you're going to have an sh epic showdown with um, your nemesis, this is not the best way to do it. Um, so, yeah, we're moving around. There's some lag. It's not perfect, but there you have it. All right, so that's that's Diablo three. That's the only game I'm going to show right now. Um, I wouldn't recommend playing shooters on this. So this is as good as it gets for now. Um, like I said, it's not great, but it is playable. You can mess around with the auction house, um, especially you know in WoW or something like that. Okay, so yeah, you know I'm fighting. It's not perfect, but you know I'm using all the key commands. And one of the great things to notice here is I'm using full effects on my computer. So even though this is at 720p, which is now sort of an outdated resolution, I still have all the effects of a high-grade computer. So that's something really great to keep in mind because, remember, with this app, you're not rendering the game itself on the tablet. You are letting the computer render an image and then send that image at about... I would guess probably about 15 frames per second um, to the tablet, and then the tablet um, is then communicating all the input back to the computer. So the great thing is that the tablet, all the tablet has to do is just um, send the mouse and keyboard data, and then everything else is on your computer. So you can enjoy absolutely gorgeous uh, graphic gaming on on a tablet screen. All right, so that's about it for this. Um, I, one thing I have done is increased my tablet's uh, clock speed, so I've overclocked the processor and removed the governor, which um, which controls how much CPU power you get. So I've run, run at about 1.4 gigahertz without any type of governor on it, and you see a slight increase in performance. It's not all that much right now. We're at stock settings. I figured that'd be more helpful for people with tablets. Um, running ice cream sandwich because we give them the closest thing that they have. All right, so again, I'm out here killing mobs. It's not great, but hey, I'm playing, and this could make a vacation or a car ride or something a lot more fun. Um, the only thing to note is that this takes up a significant amount of data plan. I'm on a wireless network right now, um, but. Uh, you could potentially do this over 4G. I don't recommend it though, because you probably use it for data plan pretty quick. But uh, if you had wireless, that would be awesome. I don't have a laptop, so this is great for me. Um, I was at a friend's house last weekend and I wanted to load up some D3. So I ended up doing this and just using his wireless network from his house. And uh, we were able to play. Um, obviously, I wasn't in my peak because I got a little bit of lag. But other than that, it's all good. Um, you've got everything you could want. Okay, so this is Techie Pride and Matt signing off. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, like and favorite. Uh, let me know if you want more, if you want more explanation of Splash Top or how to do this. Um, if you want a Bluetooth mouse demo, um, let me know. I'll go find one and load it up. All right, thanks everyone for watching.